guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to do something a little interesting here. Now, this is something I've been sitting on for quite a while. Actually, <laughs> this is footage I've actually had since July. So again, I've been sort of sitting on this one for quite the while, but what we're looking at here today is what exactly, like, how powerful um, is Grade 8 Baby, like, if you start the fight out with him? So, like, obviously, um, Great Ape Baby is absolutely insane, right? Because, one, he doesn't take damage, right? <laughs> well, okay, okay, L looks like it does actually let him take damage there. But, you know, he has that extra ability that um, LR Gohan has got, right? Where he gets an additional key per key sphere. So, even though he does not have links, and he more or less doesn't really have a passive besides just that additional uh, one key per key sphere. Um, it's really, really giving him, like, he's able to do a lot of damage. Like, he's, he's actually impressive. I mean, it just goes to show, like, how good that ability really is, that additional key per key sphere. Um, so, like, having Baby out, like, just at the start of the turn, even though, like, you can't actually have that, right? Like, this uh, Great Ape Baby is actually gated very hard. You know, in order to use him, what does it have to be? Uh, I believe it's... 40% or less HP and a high chance. So, getting below 40% HP is not something that's easy at all, right? Like, you're always going to have trouble getting to that HP threshold in a lot of these events out here, right? Um, because what happens is, you know, it's easy to get, like, under that 50% threshold. But then once you get to that point then it becomes super risky to go into the next turn, say you're in one of these difficult events, you know, you're in Super Battle Road, you're in the Legendary Goku event, it then becomes ultra risky to like, you know, stay at that low HP threshold and go to another turn, and usually the way it works out, like, you don't, like, you know, like a boss isn't going to send you down to like 20% HP, that's, again, typically, that's not really the way that I, you know, I usually see it working, so, you know, some of these abilities of, like, you know, Darkness Toa and some of these other units don't really have a lot of consistency with them, right? So, like, that, that's something that does hurt this baby as well. I mean, a summonable LR having a Great Ape transformation is insanely busted. Now, you know, when you use him in an actual event, um, at that point, his transformation, of course, uh, is going to be immune to damage, right? Like, on that turn, I believe it could be one turn or two turns where you will have Great A Baby and he will, again, be immune to damage. Um, but, you know, you do want to sort of be careful. Like, okay, here's the thing. Uh, originally, when I did the Artificial Lifeform team uh, against the Legendary Goku event, I was able to beat it after many tries. I think of all the teams I've managed to beat it with, that was probably the one I struggled with the most now that I think about it. Um, and on that team, uh, I only was able to win because of Baby and his Great Ape transformation. And, you know, being able to get all these ridiculous, uh, you know, 18 key super attacks easily, despite the fact that he's a Great Ape, right? Because even though he's a Great Ape with no links and stuff like that and no key from his passive, he oh, so 4.71 right there. That is incredibly powerful, obviously. <laughs> So that's with 50% from Kid Buu, as well as 40% um, from AGL Cooler. You know, those two units uh, giving that support type passive to uh, Great Ape Baby was very, very powerful. That's not bad. Um, now, I don't believe uh, Baby's pre-transform passive, it, it doesn't play into anything, right? Because, like, remember, before Baby is transformed, um, he does get extra key as well as extra attack from facing Pure Saiyan and Hybrid Saiyan enemies. But that's not going to affect him while he's in his Great Ape form. So we're not actually getting, um, you know, the extra 50% attack or anything by facing this, uh, you know, future Gohan enemy right here. So that damage that Baby is doing in his Great Ape form, that's just basically his attack stat. Uh, plus the uh, destructive damage modifier that uh, giant characters have got. What is Baby's attack stat, actually? Um, Baby's attack stat, okay, so it's 65,000. Uh, is I think a lot of giant apes have similar attack stats like that. And then Baby does also greatly raise attack for one turn um, on his 18 key super attack as well. So, you know, you could, like, that's why 
if you're using him just in like a typical event, event and you do actually get this transformation to come out, you know, getting as many of these 18 key super attacks in a row as possible, the damage he's going to start doing is really, really going to ramp up. Um, you know, that's one thing that's going to be very, very powerful for him. But, you know, it, it's kind of just like uh, the AG or the, excuse me, the Int LR Gohan. Um, he's always going to be a unit that I think is going to be pretty solid. You know, he doesn't have any defense. Look at that, 3.21. Wow. But uh, Gohan doesn't have any defense to speak of, right? So that's something that's always going to hurt him. Like, he doesn't lose defense like some of the other LRs, like, you know, SCR, LR Broly or anything like that. But he does not have a defensive passive either. So, you know, that's something that will keep uh, that Gohan a little bit in check moving forward. He's still, like, pretty much always going to be capable of doing the huge, insane damage numbers, right? But uh, we're not really going to see him be, like, a, a two-way unit. So that's why, I like, you know, on that actual subject, um, I would really like to see a standalone Super Saiyan 2 Gohan release um, from the BoJack movie. Not a transformation character, but just, you know, that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in Goku's outfit, you know, the, the young Gohan, that I think would be just an amazing Dokkan Fest exclusive to drop. Um, and then, again, because they don't make him a transformation character... We're then having a situation where, you know, we have EJL LR Gohan, and you could probably use him alongside this new Dokkan Fest uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan that I'm kind of pitching, right? Um, and then that would work out really well, because then you could do a dual Dokkan Fest with Bojack. Bojack mysteriously does not have a Dokkan Fest event uh, this late into the game's life cycle, right? So, like, you know, then if you had a Dokkan Fest Bojack, which you could pair up with LR Bojack, that is a massive, massive buff for him. Because really, the only weakness for LR Bojack is he doesn't really have, uh, like, a unit to pair up with. Uh, so his, like, like LR Bojack has, like, those very specific links to other Bojack units, right? And because of the fact that they decided to make it movie bosses and not movie villains, which I've talked about quite a bit lately... You know, if it was movie villains instead of movie bosses, you'd be able to use, like, Zangia and, you know, uh, the Cooler's Armored Squadron and other units like that on that category. And, you know, Zangia in particular could probably have some of those links that are really good for LR Bojack, like Hera Clan and Galactic Warriors, right? So we really do need um, that Dokkan Fest exclusive Bojack. So, like, that would be nice to kind of see that happen, right? Uh, okay, so we'll... We'll go through, like, a turn or two more here. Um, you know, we are just sort of, like, seeing what, like, Great A Baby is capable of doing uh, if he's just out there by himself, right? And this was recorded, by the way, before Baby has gotten a couple of new categories, right? He's since gotten a few other categories. He's gotten, what, Conquest of Terror um, and Target Goku since this uh, footage was recorded. Um, obviously, rocking him on the Conquest of Terror team would be very impressive because you could use uh, that Metal Rildo, right? The new 50% support Metal Rildo who was released. So you could rock him. You also have uh, that AGL Cooler. Um, and then because you'd have STR Cooler as a leader for the team, you'd also have the Transformation Boost characters that you'd be capable of using. So that way, on top of everything, you would also be able to use uh, Physical Kid Boo. So, like, you know, that would be a good place for this baby. Um, but this is more so, like... Like, obviously, as you guys can see, he is pretty damn overpowered, right? Like, he, he is capable of really, really uh, racking up a lot of damage and super attacking easily. So, that's sort of why they gate Baby as much as they do. I remember when Baby was first shown, I believe, on the Twitter. I think he had... It had to be three turns or later into the fight in order for you to actually be able to transform with Baby. And then you still... It, I think it was, like, under 50% HP at that point. But, and it was still a high chance, I also believe, but it had to be three turns. So they sort of, like, evened it out by lowering it to 40% HP, but there was no longer a turn restriction. Now, that actually is better overall, too. It's way, way, way better overall. Because the thing about Baby uh, is that, you know, it, if our boy... <laughs> It, it's just one of those things, right? Like, like our, our boy baby, it, you could go into Super Battle Road and he could transform immediately, right? As soon as the fight begins, which I, that actually has helped me. I think when I beat Extreme Class Super Battle Road with no items, I actually was really relying upon that Great A Baby. Now that I really think about it, Great A Baby was able to really help me there. So, uh, you know, that Great A transformation definitely was adjusted uh, positively in the way that helps us. But 
we'll finish up here. Great Ape Baby is definitely way too strong to be here at the start of a fight, right? This is something I meant to do during the global four-year anniversary, but just never ended up being like that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.